Welcome to Goulash Night. We're going to make some old-fashioned goulash. I've never made goulash. I've had it. Never made it. Somebody ruined Shane on it a whole bunch of years ago. He had a bad batch. He hasn't liked it since, but I'm hoping I tonight... Had it in over 40 years. He hasn't had it in over 40 years. It's been 40 years. 40 years without goulash. The last time I had goulash was probably... See, Alex is 24 now. He was probably 13 years old. So, 10, 11 years. Anyway, I've had goulash on the brain for several months now. Um, I've never made it. My mom made it growing up. And I found this recipe on Pinterest. I know it's old school and it's been around for a million years. But I'm going to make it. So, and people have been requesting cooking videos. And it's been a long time since we've done one. <laughs> I thought this would be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the ingredients. Most of it's traditional. Some of it is not. And I added one ingredient what? that I add to everything that we're going to throw in the goulash. What I'll give you one okay. guess. The bay leaves? No. Don't guess. Don't run what I'm about to show everybody. You think about it. Oh. I'm about to reveal it. I put it in everything. Everything. Okay. Let me get you. I don't want to pull you off the tripod. Let's just... You know what? Let me give me a minute. Give me a minute to get my life together. Okay, this is what we're gonna make our goulash with. Um, it calls for two pounds of ground beef, but we're gonna do one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. Salt and pepper back there. Minced garlic. Seasoned salt. One. It called for a yellow onion, and I did get yellow, but it's a sweet onion. It calls for three bay leaves. Elbow macaroni, a half a cup of beef bouillon, and I or beef broth. I'll make my own broth out of the bouillon cube. The little ingredient that I'm adding is paprika, just a tiny splash because I put paprika in everything. It calls for tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. Um, then we're going to add mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese. So it's, this recipe also called for Italian seasoning, but I am out of Italian seasoning. So we're going to start here. Okay, so in a big pot, not a skillet. This recipe is not a skillet mill. Um, in a big pot, I've got the hamburger meat, one pound of hamburger, one pound of turkey cooking. And I'm going to add a whole sweet onion. It calls for yellow. A sweet onion, the onion is yellow, but um, it's sweet, I guess. <laughs> we're going to add that in there. We're going to stir that up. And we're going to let that all finish cooking. And let the onions get translucent and cooked down. And I'll come back to you when it's time to add the rest. Okay, so we've got our meat, sorry for the steam, we got our meat and our onions all cooked up, okay? So, I don't need to drain this because it's all lean. So, the next thing we're going to add is, first of all, the garlic. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. That, oops, that is three tablespoons, not tablespoons, three teaspoons of minced garlic that cook in there for a minute. That probably should have gone in with the onions, but too late. So put that minced garlic in there, three teaspoons. Okay. Then we're going to add two and a half cups of water. There's two cups there. There's another half a cup of water. Okay, a half a cup of beef broth, which I made out of a bouillon cube. Okay, get that going. Three bay leaves. One, two, three. Call for um, a tablespoon of salt. 
So put that in there. It's a lot of salt. Kind of freaks me out, but we're going with the recipe. It calls for adobe seasoning. I got a Badia, Badia complete seasoning. I think it's the same thing as adobe. Um, and that was two teaspoons, I think. Put that in there. Called for half a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. It called for Italian seasoning, but I don't have any. Okay, get that going. It does not call for paprika, but I'm putting some in there because I put it in everything and I like the sweet that it gives. Sprinkle some of that in there, but we don't want to get crazy with it. Calls for 30, this is 29 ounces, 29 ounces of tomato sauce. Pour that right in there. Put your spoon under it like that. That way it won't splash in your face. Let's get that going. Okay. Calls for two 15-ounce cans of diced tomatoes. One. I got a medium-high heat going here. Two. Get all that stirred together. Okay. And then it calls for two cups of elbow macaroni. This is a 16 ounce box, so that's two cups. And you should probably let your sauces and seasonings simmer together for about 20 minutes. But I just went ahead and put it all in there. So what we're going to do is put this on. I'll have to double check and I'll come back and let you know. But it's like a medium high heat. Cover it for 30 minutes. Let that macaroni cook. So this is where we're at guys. The goulash I've ever seen before, the noodles were cooked separately, but in this one, they're going to cook in your meat and your sauces, seasonings. So, there's that, and I'll get back to y'all. Okay, so what we have to do is stir this up. The elbow macaroni is in there. We're going to stir this up, and we're going to put a lid on it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to add cheddar cheese. And let that melt in, melty schmelty, and then we're going to add mozzarella on top before we serve it. Okay guys, so this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. Because I don't want to get my noodles, my pasta, too soft. We want to keep it al dente. Is that the right word? So this is what we've got so far. Look at here. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to go ahead and pull these bay leaves out because you don't want to leave those in there. There's one. I need my tongs for that. Two. Fish around and find the other one. Where's our other bay leaf? It's in there somewhere. Where are you at, little bay leaf? Look how these noodles have plumped up. I've lost a bay leaf. There it is. There it is. Pull the bay leaf out. Take that out. Alright. Okay. So there's our goulash. Look at that. What? It's delish. Okay. Then it says add a half a cup of shredded cheddar. Bam. I'm kind of one of those people that likes to measure everything out. Um, I know a lot of people are just kind of eyeballing it. And that says a half a cup of shredded cheddar, but I don't, that's, what am I going to do with that? Let's add some more. That's kind of a joke. Let's get a little bit more shredded cheddar. I'm kind of a cheese girl. I'm kind of a cheesy girl. Let's add that. Okay. I'm going to let that melty schmelty in there. Y'all know I like a recipe where you have to melty schmelty stuff. Alright, 
So there's our our cheddar. Now we are going to just call this done. I'm going to go ahead and taste one of the pastas to make sure it's not too mushy because a mushy noodle will run. A mushy noodle will run a goulash. You like my mess back here? Okay, so let's see. I'm not taste testing, I'm just checking the el dente of the pasta. Okay. So, Shane went to go get Riley, and I don't want to taste test this until he gets back. So what I'm going to do is um, take this completely off the heat, put a lid on it. When he walks in the door, I'm going to put um, the shredded mozzarella on top. I'm going to plate it up, and we're going to do a taste test. So see you all in a bit. So while we're waiting on Shane to get home, and we're waiting on goulash to simmer, I have a new favorite snack. Ooh. Pepper Jack. Never been a fan of Pepper Jack. Never been a fan. I always thought it was a little too spicy for my taste, and now, let's see, when I went grocery shopping at Walmart yesterday, I was like, ooh, Pepper Jack sounds good. Have you ever craved something that you never really cared about before? So I bought it. Haven't put it on any sandwiches. I've just been eating a slice here and there. It's so good. I was getting a text message, sorry. <laughs> the joys of YouTubing with your phone and then your friend's text. Look at that yummy goodness. So, news flash. I went to the doctor the day before yesterday. Nothing's wrong. I just went for a checkup. Um, he wants to see me once every six to 12 months, once or twice a year, just to check my lungs. He's been my doctor for almost 10 years. Check my, check my lungs, make sure I'm okay with my Ativan, you know, make sure we're good. I won't go back till October unless something's wrong and I get sick. Anyway, he's just a few years older than me and he was sweet enough to let me know that I'm about 10 pounds overweight. I said, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you how much I weigh. It's not crazy. But he said, he said, if I was really going to pick on you, I'd tell you to lose 10 pounds. He said, but he patted his belly. He said, but you're fine, girl. Don't worry about it. I said, okay, I won't. <laughs> I think when you hit 45 years old, which that's how old I am, and you start taking care of people who are at their end of at the end of their life, and you see the realities of life, you see the end of life, you see age, and you see all these things, you just don't worry about an extra 10 pounds anymore. Now, if I gained another five, I'd probably be freaking out because I'm not trying to, you know, gain a bunch of weight. Absolutely not. But you just kind of quit worrying about the small things. You know what I mean? I can feel myself changing with my age. And I am praying and hoping that the desire to go run comes back to me. And I think the warmer it gets outside, the more that desire is going to come back. So, um, I just haven't wanted to run. I just haven't wanted to, and I hate that. And I think it's only, excuse me, I think it's only because my change in careers and how much more energy I put out during the day. And um, 
when I get home in the evenings, I just want to relax and take care of my family and my home, and, and running's not a priority anymore. Um, I feel like I expend a lot of energy during the day, a lot of energy. I don't feel like it. I know I do. And, um, but I do, I do miss running. And so probably this weekend, I haven't been able to run this week, although I've thought a lot about it because it's been torrential downpour and tornadoes around Oklahoma. So this weekend I don't have any plans. It's supposed to be gorgeous weather, and if all goes well, I'm going to go pound out a couple miles, see how I feel. And, uh, you know, try to get back into that. Anyway, um, let's wait for Shane to get here, and Riley, and Dalton. And I don't know if the kids are going to be around for the taste test or not, but we will do a taste test and see how this goulash turned out. I'm excited. All right, he's home. Well, don't scoop up so much if you're not going to like it. This is what it looks like. I put mozzarella on it. Can we show YouTube your new glasses? Are you? Can we? Yeah. Riley got new shades. Hi, guys. Aw. Super cute. Here's the goulash, Riley. Hey, wait. Goulash. Wait, can I run with my glasses on? Or is that like stupid? No. No? Okay. You can't? I'll just be blind. I want to taste it. Is it hot? Is it bad? Is it good? It's not bad. It just looks like stroganoff. Just call it stroganoff. It's not goulash. Well, because stroganoff is not anywhere near like that. Mm. That's good. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah thanks, Rye. Yeah. I'm going to go on a run. Okay. And I'm probably going to get a really good... If you go on a run, don't wear your brand new glasses. Yeah. If I can run blind, so can you. Okay. Don't leave them there either. Yeah. That's so unsafe. Put them over there. Tacks, but like, well, yeah. you'll be all right. Just come back before dark. Okay. Okay, adios. I'll take pictures of the sunset for you. Please do. It tastes good. I don't like the noodles mixed You don't together. like mushy noodles. Tell them you don't like <laughs> spaghetti mixed together. I don't either. like any kind of pasta mixed together. I okay. like it separate, except lasagna. Okay, it's my turn. I'm going to try it. You don't have any Parmesan. Huh? You don't have any Parmesan. There's Parmesan. Huh? All right. So that's Parmesan, isn't it? Look. Oh, is it gone? Is this camera even on me? Yeah. All right. It's like I'm trying super to close get... to your head. It's my turn to taste test. Don't make me look fat, please. What? I think it's good. <laughs> we gotta change the name of it. Oh my gosh, you guys. But we gotta change the name <laughs> of it. Change the name and I'll eat it. That is so good. Okay, let's do a thing. Okay, guys, Shane doesn't like the word goulash, neither does Riley. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? I hate the word goulash. Hates the word goulash, but he scooped out another bowl. So, you guys, give us a new name besides goulash in the comments below. And Shane can pick the one he likes the best. I'm going to be a winner, and we'll send you a cold bowl of goulash. <laughs> the winner will get a cold bowl of goulash. We'll freeze your packet, send in the mail, you can thaw it out in your microwave, it'll be delish. No, really, give us an, I, I don't know what's wrong with the name goulash, I hate it. but I can tell you that that is a good recipe, and I don't know if it's the bay leaves or that seasoning. Okay, so, what's it at? It calls for adobe seasoning, but um, I'm not rich, and adobe is expensive. So I bought this. B A D I A. Badia Complete Seasoning. So that's what I bought that's comparable. Anyway, I'm going to plate me up a little bowl of this and um, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's good. If you want a good goulash recipe, this is a good one. I keep looking over here because it's over here. It's over here. 
good bowl of goulash. Um, I've heard goulash made with tomato soup and just tomato and salt and pepper, or tomato sauce and salt and pepper and blah, 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 blah. Um, this calls for bay leaves and a few things a little different, but it's got a great flavor. And Shane can eat it. Bachelorette comes on May 8th. We're watching that. You know that, right? He doesn't care. He will play on his computer while I watch Bachelorette, but he'll be playing on his computer right beside me, won't you, lover? Yeah. Look at this. Maybe. Are you working? Personal text. Is that a work text? No. Personal text? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go eat goulash. I love y'all. That was a kiss, by the way. I love y'all. The Lord loves you more. You bread. Okay, you know what? Next time you cook dinner. <laughs> I cook dinner a lot. <laughs> you know what? What? Go find something else to eat and stay out of my goulash and my bread. I love you. The Lord loves you more. Bye.